Hello, it's been way, way, way too long. I'm sorry, I really didn't think there was anything interesting to film since we're just still kind of home during all of this. But actually looking back on it, a lot has happened. So my last video was posted in, I think like Father's Day, so that was June. And I have some really exciting news and then some not so exciting news. So I'm going to start with the not so exciting news to get that out of the way as there are planes flying over my apartment very loudly. So if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, you'll know that back in, I believe, April or May, we did lose our dog, Eska. She had been very sick since before the beginning of quarantine, and then once quarantine actually started, she had just gotten worse. It turned out that she was a lot older than we thought that she was, and she just really wasn't doing well and it's been very sad not having our little fur baby around but I still miss her and I really don't know what else to say about that because I don't want this to be a sad video that's been um, in the past and we still miss her and love her and she was an amazing dog for us for the past five years that we've been together and she was our little baby so moving on to the not sad news also if you follow me on instagram which you need to do because then you'll know that joe and i are engaged so of course I'm, i'll do a little close-up trying so hard to get this to focus but here's the ring it is so so gorgeous so we got engaged back in July. Maybe I'll do like an engagement Q&A video. And since we've been engaged and we've been in quarantine, it's been kind of lonely just having the two of us here. We're really used to having a little fur baby around. So after doing a lot of research and talking with a lot of different people, we decided to get a corgi puppy named Poppy, which you can tell from the title of this video. So we specifically wanted a corgi because they have that fun-loving, like goofy, derpy side that huskies have. We love derpy dogs. They're just so sweet and you have to love them. But also corgis are much more compact. They're a lot smaller. They're more portable and easy to travel with. They're not banned from apartments like Huskies were. Didn't know that until we needed to find a place outside of Savannah. And also they're very smart. And we decided to go with um, adopting a puppy rather than going to a shelter because a lot of uh, specialty shelters do not allow you to adopt corgis if you haven't had one before which I thought was a little odd and also shelters right now are almost empty because everybody is wanting a dog just like us which is wonderful but we looked around in shelters and just didn't see anything that worked for us we really didn't want to go through the same experience of losing a dog again so soon so we wanted to make sure that we did our research got her from someone reputable so we drove all the way out to Pennsylvania almost to New York Pennsylvania and got her about a week ago and she's over here we're trying to crate train her so she's in her little kennel area and she's been doing so well she's sleeping right now this is Poppy she is nine weeks old and she's a tri-colored Pembroke Corgi and as you can see, she really likes playing with all of her toys. <laughs> she even has um, a basket on top of here and we had to take the basket away from her because she was chewing it up and playing with the basket more than the toys. But she's been doing really well. We have her crate set up. She's been eating well. She's been using her little grass mat 
perfectly. We can't take her out quite yet on walks until she has her uh, second round of shots. She's had her first round, but we really want to make sure that she's vaccinated and we want to keep her as safe and healthy as possible so she's in here for now. Also, Poppy has her own Instagram, so the link is down below. It's Poppy the Corgi Pup, and there's some underscores thrown in there because there's a lot of dogs named Poppy and a lot of corgis named Poppy that are also really cute and you should check out. I do have some footage of us going to get her, so I'm gonna put that in now. didn't film that much because I was just so distracted and excited and I'm not used to filming I'm trying to get more into it so let me know if you guys want to see a Q&A video and then this weekend I'm going to my parents so we're going to Nelson County just for like a day and I'm bringing some of my friends and we're going to go to all of the socially distanced fall festival things that we can which is basically just apple picking and wine tasting far from everybody else and poppy's gonna stay here since she hasn't had all of her vaccines yet but i'm going to try to film again i know i say that like every couple months but i know that people want to see her she's so cute she's so precious and let me know if you want to do like a puppy q a an engagement q a i don't know i'm feeling inspired so just comment that down below be sure to subscribe and follow my Instagram because I update that way more often than I do my channel. Alright, say bye Poppy. Good night. <laughs>